In this lesson, we take what we know about uh, parallel and perpendicular lines and look at what mathematically makes them parallel and perpendicular. One interesting fact about parallel lines, based on what we just learned about slopes, is that parallel lines have the same slope. If you look in this picture over on the side, you'll notice that they both have slopes of one half, and what that means is their rise over their run is mathematically the same, which is what makes them parallel. Reminder that all horizontals have a slope of zero, and all vertical lines have no slope or an undefined slope. So let's go down to example one for now. We'll skip perpendicular and then we'll go back to it. Example one asks us which two lines are parallel and then we have to explain. Now you don't have colors on your paper so you'll just follow along with me. You can number them or letter them, whatever you want. The slope of the blue line is a rise of four and a run of one, so its slope is four over one or just four. The slope of the red line is up five right one. And the slope of the green line is up 4, right 1. So if I had a bigger piece of graph paper, you would be able to notice a little more differently that the blue and the green lines don't ever intersect. The red line would intersect them at some point if you extended your grid. So I'll write the blue and the green lines. If you want to number or letter them, you can. Now we go up to perpendicular lines and we look at what makes two lines mathematically perpendicular. Perpendicular lines have this thing called negative reciprocal slopes. And then you say, what the heck is a negative reciprocal? Well, there's an example right here in the picture. Negative two is negative reciprocals for one half. So let's put that down, one half and negative two and I'll put the negative 2 over 1 to demonstrate the point. A negative reciprocal, this might be something you want to highlight or annotate, a negative reciprocal is when you flip the fraction, which is reciprocal, and then if it's positive, it turns negative. If it's negative, it turns positive. Negative reciprocal doesn't just mean it has to be negative. For example, if you have a slope of negative 3 halves, its negative reciprocal is positive, two-thirds. So you're changing the sign and doing the reciprocal. So negative reciprocals are when you change the sign and then you do the reciprocal, as the word would imply. Let's look at example two. We have to look at which two lines are perpendicular and as you just figured out we're looking for negative reciprocal slopes. And remember perpendicular lines make a right angle. The slope of the red line has a rise of 2 and a run of negative 7. So the red line has a slope of 2 over negative 7. The green line has a rise of 7 and a run of 2. And the blue line has a rise of 2 and a run of, a negative 2 rise, and a run of 6. So it is negative 2 over 6. Sorry, a little sloppy negative 2 there. So you can see that the ones that are negative reciprocals are the red and the green lines, which is what I'll write, and if you want to number or letter them, that's fine. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I didn't explain why. Um, so let me go back to example one and say the lines are parallel because they have the same slope. I know I showed it in, up here 
but I want to write it in my answer. And let's do the opposite for, or the similar thing, for example, to the red and green lines are perpendicular because their slopes are negative reciprocals. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.